If you can learn quickly on your feet, you want to get away from a desk job and you have a drug-free background, you could become a police officer in Bismarck. But before any recruit can head out on patrol, he or she must pass a series of tests, starting with a written exam. Joel Porter signed up for the written exam recently. He's live now with more. Joel? Monica, in part one of my series, Bismarck's Finest, I wanted to find out if a person from a different career path after studying could pass the law enforcement exam required by the Bismarck PD. Before any young police recruit can head out in a squad car, they first have to sit down in a classroom for an exam. Some of the questions on the test are from the packet. The law enforcement written test is the first obstacle facing all officers who want to earn a place at the Bismarck Police Department. The ability to write a little bit and the ability to remember things. And like I said, for the most part, it's just a, a screening uh, device or tool so we can get to that oral interview phase. You can uh, turn the page and begin. Five of the major police and sheriff's departments in the area all use the same written test. In order to find out just how challenging the first step is, I too signed up for the written exam, which is given every month at job service in Bismarck. If you're what we consider licensable in the state of North Dakota, that means if you have, if you've been through an academy, those sort of things, and it's, a, it's on a five point scale. So it's really tough to make up points on the oral interview if you come in with a really low test score. Every recruit needs at least a 75 in order to pass. Even with a passing score, a recruit isn't guaranteed a job. Fortunately, you don't need much police training in order to pass the written exam. It tests a person's memory, map reading skills, and judgment. Several of the people who sign up for the exam have no background in police work at all. Or they kind of realize if I want to get into law enforcement, I better make the move now. So we're, we're seeing some applicants coming from other career fields as well. From the time the, the officer applies with us and by the time he gets done with the oral interview and the background's done and we've made a conditional offer and the conditional offer, uh, the conditional offer testing is completed, the whole process takes between probably a month and a half to two months. The Bismarck Police Department hires about eight new officers on a typical year. But Ziegler says those jobs have become even more competitive. In 2006, 39 recruits applied for jobs in Bismarck. In 2010, that number rose to 89. North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, and Montana area is where most of our recruits came from. But that is no longer the case. And I think it's just because the, the North Dakota name is out there and due to the economy. The conditional job offer doesn't happen until phase seven, but there are plenty more challenges awaiting the recruit before he or she is sworn in. My final score was a 79. Lieutenant Ziegler says the average recruit they hire scores between an 82 and an 85. Tomorrow I'll sit down with a detective to learn more about the polygraph or lie detector test that every recruit is put through during phase eight. Alan? All right, thanks.